necessary. <laughs> there we go. It's the start. It's snuggle time. I could just put these sheets on his ass now. Oh, come cuddle me. Yeah, I can. You've got all the stupid cushions in the way. Yeah, I need that for you to my leg. Oh, well, I can't get any closer to you then. No. Hello, everybody. Hello. This vlog is basically starting quite soon after the previous one ended. <clears throat> I've had a shower. I'm feeling fresh. I've got sausage rolls in the air fryer because I am hell. And we thought you can come and spend the weekend with us. And the weekend starts on a Friday night for me and Chelsea. Hell yeah, baby. When Goldie's in bed. Yeah. <laughs> she goes to bed. And it's mum and dad time. And it's just a bit of relax. Well we, well, we say relax, we're about to watch in maybe the next 20 minutes, I think, our first horror film with one another. Guys, I can't. We don't like horror films. Hate them. I, like, literally hate them. I think you're I, worse than me. I hate them. I'm worse than Chelsea in every, in every single way. I think... A little bit of poo's gonna come out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was speaking to my mate today at work, and he he enjoys horror. Films. Like they don't really bother him. Like he'll get up in the morning and watch one when he's having his breakfast. Um, I'm sorry, but that's psychotic behaviour in itself. Yeah. We're gonna watch the film Smile. Don't do that. You're disgusting. You just don't, Chelsea, honestly, don't. Don't even think about it. Turn away now. It's not even started yet. Um, honestly. <laughs> what are these old teethy pegs? Anyway. <laughs> Carry on. Shut up. You, it, you, you're you actually so ugly when you do that <gasps> face. You terrify me. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we're putting ourselves through this. Well, I think it's basically to stop us being pussies. I'm still gonna be a pussy after the end of it. I'm just gonna be a scared pussy. Well, as are you. I think we're both just. And now I'm not gonna be able to sleep. But we just watch like constant like true story films or rom coms. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it. Love them. Absolutely love them. Nothing beats a true story film. You just need every now and then to just switch it up a little bit. Okay, let's fuck shit up. I'm gonna die. I'll look after you, babe. Don't you worry. We've switched places. We switched places because you didn't want to be near the door. That was clever. <laughs> Shut up. So basically, they're gonna kill me first. No. Unbelievable. No. Guys, let's go. I honestly think I'm gonna cry. Like that's scary. Oh, stop it. Behave yourself. <laughs> oh my god. I honestly didn't I expect. That. I forgot about that. I don't know why I'm doing this, Jules. Right, you need to calm the hell down. Not even like into it yet. I just need to watch a nice comedy now. R rom com. We'll watch a Disney movie after, alright? Rom com. Right, we're one creepy bit in, but I was so freaked out. I forgot to press record. Ian had his eyes closed the whole time. I knew it was coming. My, yeah. ma my mate from work actually told me what was going to happen in the, this first you scene. You say it like you're going to have your eyes open on the next creepy bit. But I don't know what's going to happen and when. I knew it, when it, that was going to happen. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my God, what's he going to do, Charles? Fuck that. Hey, Carl. How are you feeling yes. today? Why are you just watching it? Come <laughs> on. Horrendous. I didn't like any part of it, but it hasn't haunted me. No, I'd probably say the same. The demon, whatever you want to call it, I mm. don't find that realistic. Mm. 
so that doesn't scare me those bits it's just the horrible like jumpy bits you know something's coming yeah yeah, yeah. you just don't know when the suspense morning it's saturday we are having a cuppa in my new favorite mug i know i love a mug i got this from b&m yesterday three pound fifty three pound fifty how are you this morning goldie girl are you okay okay no don't go near my tea morning baby girl that's the goldie not you Oh, Chelsea, you've got all the little this. chocolate bits all over. It's not me. What do you mean it's not you? Well, you were eating them as well. Mm. This guy's trying to get in on the camera. <laughs> you getting in? Come out here then. Oh. <laughs> There's the camera. <laughs> well, you're not shy, are you? You're not shy. You're going to be an actress like Mummy. Yes, good morning. It is now obviously Saturday. Did you have any nightmares? I didn't actually. Do you know what? I'm actually not that scared of it. Because, do you know what I think's ruined it for me? What? The demon. Yeah. I feel like it was just some like... Really? Really um, unrealistic... Yeah. CGI crap. Yeah. Yeah. So therefore, everything. whenever I think about it now... All I'm thinking about is that demon. Yeah. And not the... And because at the end it was like this weird, <coughs> weird giant as well. Like a giant, like, just yeah. like the BFG. Yeah. Mm. missed a few nights sleep. Literally, yeah. I totally agree. It was more <laughs> scary, the woman at the end when she turned. Yeah. That was more... Like, oh, that's, yeah, there that, were that, lots that, that. of jumpy bits, but there's but nothing it wasn't, that's haunting no, me. No, it's not scary. Move the camera. It's not scary. I wouldn't say it's scary. <laughs> I'd say because you're waiting, because you know that something's going to happen. That's yeah. what was scary it's, it's, about it's it. It's the suspense, isn't it? Yeah. But overall, yeah. Anyway, what's on the agenda today? <laughs> what are we up to? So I've actually got a bit of work to do today. I was meant to do a hit class on Thursday. And it was the first day of my period. And I was like, no. So I need to catch up and do that, but that's fine. Um, I'm also going to edit last night's vlog. I'm getting my hair done at 2pm today. And then in between that is just some family love time. I'm not doing anything. I'll be sat at home Goldie looking girl. after Goldie all day. But that's what you love to do. Yeah. Right. Might take her for a walk. Yeah. If it's not, yeah. looks like it's really dark. I mean, she does this thing now where she crawls outside to the front door. Sits on the mat oh, and, norm and normally just watches if the TV's on, she'll just sit and watch telly from there. But obviously, a doormat's pretty dirty and it's dirty. And then she'll just take off each shoe one by one and just leave them there, which daddy hates. Is she doing that now? Yeah, Excellent. both shoes off. Thank you very much, Goldie. We really appreciate that. Right, let's have cup of tea and some breakfast then I need to plan hit. Saturday of dreams they say. It'd be all right if the Premier League was on. International break. Gotcha. But at 6pm tonight Wigan Warriors play um, Hull KR in the grand final. 6pm. 6 6pm's 6 kick off. Perfect. So Just you're doing well. Yep. <laughs>
Dad doesn't even cut it. That was minging. Good fun though. I actually quite enjoyed it, but it was very unpleasant. Right, I'm just gonna quickly upload and schedule this onto Patreon, ready for Monday. And that's my fit peach done for the day. Hello, you some walkies. Just getting sassy. Hello, are you getting sassy? No, she's getting sassy, you better let go of one hand and try and... Stop being lazy. And then she just goes down <laughs> the face plant. Is it nearly nap time for yeah, you? Yeah, you're pickle, aren't you? I'm a bit sleepy. Maybe we should all have a nap. Mm -hmm. I'm Jorgen. No. Cheers. Bottoms up, everybody. I've got my free soul with what we've got in here a banana, whole milk, and nut butter. Daddy just sat you right on the worktop right next to all the knives. I have, yeah. Yeah, that's excellent, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Is it warm enough, Daddy? We'll find out. I think so. Good night, night Bobby. I love you. Enjoy your nappy noonus. Goldie, can Mummy have a kiss? Thank mm. you, darling. Let's go, you want milkies? <laughs> <laughs> go on then, let's go. I've not yet showered. Um, I've been editing the vlog that we did last night regarding the honeymoon, which is going to be a separate vlog to this one. Um, so I've been editing that. Babe is asleep. Ian's at the gym. I've just had two deliveries arrive as well. I'm going to be really annoying and tease you because I can't tell you what this one is because it's for the wedding. It's like part of our like wedding favour thing. But I'm really, really pleased with it. I've waited for ages for it to come. And it's here and I'm happy. Second delivery is from Ob Skincare, which I've been going on about in the last few vlogs. Um, but this time I'm trying, I've paid for this by the way, um, the natural oat soap, extra gentle. I love using the soap on my face. I, I, I got the sea salt and peppermint one last time, which I've got here in a, is it called a sisal bag? I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna use this for the shower, it's like my shower gel. I love it because the bag is like a natural exfoliant. Um, so I'm using that soap on my body this time and then the extra gentle oat soap on my face. So fabulous. You can use my code CHELSEA15 to get 15% off, which is an affiliate link, but I did pay for these if that makes sense. Just love it. Love, love, love it. Also, Sean put a really cute message in the box. It says, P.S. Barbados is a great honeymoon destination. Just put that there, bless that. Tea time. I am um, freshly showered. Actually, we're both freshly showered, aren't we, babe? Oh, football. Thrilling. Wash my hair for the first time and gone. Oh, there, it's gone all fluffy. Oh, it looks well fluffy. So fluffy. Cute. Cute little fluff ball. Um, I've got my hair in about 20 minutes. Um, my hairdresser, Lucina, comes here, which is just golden. I'm only getting like a half head today, maybe even a tea bar. Sorry to interrupt your um, riveting talk. Just, I honestly thought that was gold, you know. Passive control, yeah. Goldie is fast asleep. She has been for over two hours, bless her. Good nap today. Take your hand off her. Come on. You're thinking about it. You want to, but you're just nervous. Good girl. Good girl, come on. You can do it. You can do it, baby. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Oh. I totally forgot to vlog any of my hair today. Um, I was gonna put um, the camera on like a time lapse whilst I was getting my hair done. Of course, in classic hairdressing style, I just got chin wagging with Lucina and forgot to film anything. However, really pleased. Um, obviously, we just did a half head, but what she's done is, rather than just doing highlights, she's done like one load of bleach and then a slightly warmer color so that it's not too like in your face. Not white. White, yeah. A little bit warmer, um, but warm rather that than ashy. Yeah, for the wedding? Yeah. What, that colour? Yeah. But... Ooh. What? I don't know about that. You're joking. Are you taking the piss? Well... What? I don't know about that. What do you like then? Like... Bright blonde, like porn star. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm getting my hair done once more before... 
like right before the wedding. Golly. Um, but yeah, it's so long. Literally, I've just blow dried it myself, um, which is why it's so frizzy. And instantly, I'm like, I need to put it up, which is why it was already up. Um, but yeah, very happy with the colour, so that's good. I, like I just want you to cut it for... Do you? Like... When I met you, here. though, I had a tiny little bob here. Yeah, and that's when I thought you were your most sexiest. Are you for real? Because at the time you were like, how, like said that you liked long hair, so I grew it for you. So you grew it for me, did you? I fucking did not. I grew it for myself, mate. Exactly. Um, but... Stop saying stupid things. <laughs> but it's too long now. Like... No, it's too long. I probably will get about that much cut off. Still quite short. Sure. Yeah, oh, I want right. it to be like here, just below my shoulders. What I can't decide is do I get it cut in between the wedding and the honeymoon? You want it put in, you don't want to go to Mauritius with all that hair, mm. with the heat and humidity maybe. You're so right. I know, oh my, sorry. You're right. I always tell you you're right. Did you get that then? She just said, you're so right. You are right. Because I am right 99 if it's this long, of the time. If it's this long, it's just going to be annoying me. I'm, never, I'm not going to have it down at all. Maybe like the evenings or whatever, but I'm not going to be asked to style it every single day. I'm not, I'm not that kind of gal. I just kind of be arsed. The next thing, I'm going to get it cut off. Do I go ginger? No, because the chlorine in the pools and stuff might make it go a weird colour. Maybe I'll wait until I get back for that. I think it's going to be a pale, pale ginger. Pale ginger. It would really suit me because I'm so pasty. I'll be like Ariel. Who's Ariel? The Little Mermaid. How mm. dare you offend me. Who's Ariel though? The Little Mermaid. The main, the ginger mermaid. Oh, man. He needs a Disney lesson, people. I do. No, I don't. I know, I know more Disney than you are, I think. Yeah, probably. Um, right, are we having chicken goujons for dinner? Yeah, you just said that on the, the square potatoes. And the, and the cute potatoes. Should I start cooking that then, or like getting it prepared? Well, remember, we can play at six. Oh. This is Goldie feeding herself at lunch. Had a tea. It's already in the eyebrow, if you can see. It's definitely going to get flung on the wall. Yeah. I can see that happening any moment. Mummy is so relaxed. Are you sure? I'm, I'm so going with the flow. Go on, you mix that into your high chair table. Yes. Excellent. You flip that, Mummy. Get mine. Good girl. Probably shouldn't put so much on the spoon. It's my fault. Right? It, the idea, Goldie, is for you to Put the spoon in your mouth with the food, not when all the food's be falling. Better. Some of it's going in. Be better. Good girl. Let me put more on. You feeling all the lovely textures? Yeah, you just fling it on your vest. I was just going to say that. Yeah, she's, she's eating more than she's eating I was trying more, to feed yeah. her. Can you get it all in your face and everything? So mummy has to spend so long now. bathing. Oh. <laughs> Do you want bobbies? Ooh, we need to wash this mac and cheese off your face. Ladies and gents, grand final night. This is the sport that us Wiganers like. And Goldie is watching. What do we say, baby? We go, Wigan, Wigan, Wigan. Cherry and white, is it? Cherry and white? You're too invested in it. Yeah? Yeah, baby. Wigan, Wigan, Wigan. Cherry and white. 12 nil. No trap field. No trap. On side. Good morning, ladies and gents. It's Sunday morning in our house. And again, Goldie doesn't sleep that well. 
and I don't get it. I, I don't understand. I actually need help from any parents out there who might just watch this. I mean, I say that, but she does sleep all right, but then just some nights she just doesn't. And it's more, it's, it's, it's kind of in the last two weeks, maybe three weeks where she just doesn't sleep as well as she was. So we've kind of been lulled into this life that we thought, oh, we've cracked it. She's going to sleep through every night now. Well, that's definitely not the case. I think last night she was up. She cries maybe around 10. We go in there, well, me or Chelsea go in there. We cuddle her for a bit, like five minutes, and she kind of gets all sleepy on our shoulder. We put her down, and she goes back down easily, to be fair. So she did that about 10 and 12. Um, and then she was screaming at like two. Like, and then you don't want to feed her because you don't want to get her into that mindset of, I'm going to get milkies through the night. But she was absolutely screaming. And bearing in mind, she just refuses food during the day at this moment or eats very little. The only things that she's eating is yogurt and banana and porridge. And she was eating so much more. Weren't you, Goldie? So I think she's starving through the night. And Chelsea goes, oh, do you want milkies? And her little face lights up and starts like laughing and getting giddy. And I think she was up again at, I don't know, I can't, I can't remember to be fair. I'm not too sure. And then eventually I went into it about 10 to 7. So really, it's not that bad. It's just frustrating when you've had a good four, five, six weeks with her before this. But it is what it is. And our child is going through this moment. I don't know how long it's going to last. Do you know how long it's going to last, Goldie? Oh, she's like, shut up, Dad. Aren't you? Guys, Ian's hogging the fast lane. I'll go slower. <laughs> I don't care. It's Almost, half, it's, someone's just overtaking. It's 20 past nine. And browsing. No, it's not embarrassing. I'm joking. Calm down, two eyes. It's 20 past nine. Happy Sunday. It's so lovely to be on the roads when they're actually chill. Um, very refreshing. It's actually nice to be out quite early. I say early, it's bloody nine o'clock. Early on a Sunday, do we? Still, it is quite early. For us, it is terrible. Loads of empty. It's hard to like. I find it a little bit not, not okay. Hard's not the right word. It's just effort getting out of the house of a little one, isn't it? Early in the morning, like when you're rushing. So by the time I do get out of the house, it's a bit later. Anyway, we are off for a new walk. I love a new walk. We're meeting our friends, and we're going for a walk with them. And they've recommended the walk and we haven't done this one before. Yeah, so we're really excited to get out and just get some fresh air and go for a nice walk. If we see any lovely little sights. And have a coffee. Ooh, that's the yeah. most, that's the main. I don't know if there is any place for coffee. See, I don't understand you're missing a trick. Just a little coffee stand. Well, let's do one. Do business idea. Oh, by the way, guys, last night we just didn't vlog anymore because to be honest with you, we just had a really chill night, which was so lovely. And what did we do? We had pizza. We made, um, we didn't make, I put in the oven, <laughs> Crosta and Malika pizzas, which are our favourite. Really nice. So nice. I did overcook mine a little bit, though, which is a bit annoying, but I've gotten over it now. <laughs> um, I watched the rugby, and Wigan won, ones. and then Chelsea watched. Strictly. Strictly. What a night. What, a, what an excellent combination. Rugby, then Strictly. Um, so yeah, it was a really nice chilled night. I had a bit of a rough night with Gigi though. Bit of a rough one. But bless him, Ian took her downstairs this morning after I fed her. And I had like an extra 20 minutes snooze and it was nice. Let's hope this walk puts a little fresh spring in our step.
another rainy afternoon. I don't know what I'm to do. I just miss you more than. Hello. Hey. Oh. <laughs> um, we're back from our lovely morning. Aren't we? Excuse the absolute state of our kitchen, by the way. This is this is not how it normally is. But this is also just real life. Um, we had a really nice walk with our friends. It was fresh, wasn't Lovely. it, darling? It was a little bit nippy, but it was so nice. It was all wrapped up, weren't you? All wrapped up in a pram. Yeah, we had a really nice walk. Then we went back upstairs for a coffee. Then I had the best. Coffees. <laughs> George was they the best. They still coffees. are the best. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Goldie was really sweet actually. She just like goes straight to the toys now and they have like one of those wooden kitchens and she was just playing with it. So now I'm like, well, she needs a wooden kitchen now. I thought she was too young, but she loved it. No? It's not going in the lounge. Why is it going then? She's not having it. She's not having a wooden kitchen. No, ever. it's not going in the lounge. Do you know where your wooden kitchen can go? Get rid of your pink cupboard, boom, there. So where are we gonna put the stuff that goes in the pink cupboard? See? Like, you don't think about these things. Well, no, we'll just find room in there. There's no room in there. Like, mmm. Sorry, can... but children's toys do end up... It'll be still organised and it's going to be aesthetic. Aesthetic? It will be. So I'm sorry. It'll be a pretty wooden kitchen. You know what I mean, don't you? No. Anyway, she'll get one at some point. Um, that was really cute. Then, she was so desperate for a nap, so on the way home, we went, like, the long route home. Um, we went to my mum and dad's, but they weren't in. So we just ended up nap trapped in the car, chilling for a bit <laughs> and just drove a long way home. So she had a long nap. She must have been down for about an hour and a half. Yeah, it actually was in the end. Right. Just put the kettle on and I've also just put the heating on and already the house is warming up. You know, this can sound a bit mental, but you know when you can smell the radiator, <laughs> you can smell your central heating. It is so cozy and I can't wait. Like I've just made a cup of tea and I've just said to E, this is so sad, but this is like how happy, this is what makes me happy. Snuggling up on the sofa, baby playing with all her toys. I've got a cup of tea and I've said, do you want to chill and watch YouTube videos together? We don't need that much in life to be happy. Very simple. Like really, like very, like Friday nights, <laughs> once Goldie's in bed oh, and we're favorite. just sat on the sofa uh -huh. After a with a coffee. Week. Just watching anything. Um, With my family. That is not too bad. <laughs> not too Doesn't need to be that anything fancy. <laughs> is that yummy, darling? Is that yummy? Are you back to liking food again? Chelsea's um, toxic trait is doing a food shop and then not buying <laughs> what she wants and then does about... 78 individual shops at co-op at the co-op which costs about 78 pound a time oh you really exaggerate that Such is a, a very drama king but i want i want you to emphasize the point of so you never like run out of eggs you never go to co-op for eggs no no very rarely oh, how okay. do i need you buy about 30 to 40 a week goldie you say dada is that mama? Clever girl. Clever. Now say dada. No, we're not on a strike of saying dada as well. Goldie, say mama. Mama, mama. Good girl. Where's Goldie's tongue? <laughs> oh, with a great. That's lovely. The silence is deafening. Wait, Romeo is dumb. She's like going through a little sassy phase, isn't she? She's just more aware. And she's like... No, she's not more aware. She is. She's, she's just, just figuring life out. She's just annoying. Oh, don't be horrible. It's not being horrible, it's being a fact. She is annoying. At this moment in time, she's annoying and she pisses us off. But then she sleeps and I miss her. But like every child... Oh, and honestly, right now, I do not miss her. She, um... She didn't self-settle tonight, which is basically the first time ever. So she fell asleep on me and then I transferred her to a cot, which I've never done in all her little life. But it's worked so far, so. Take your tea for her in, which is why she's not eating properly, which is why she's hungry at that's, night, which is why she keeps waking up. That's Chelsea making excuses for her. And she's tired. 
God. Right, let's watch monsters. Right, we're watching monsters. We'll make you a cup of tea. Oh, my days. This is our most raw, natural state. And I am a state this morning. That, my friends. Oh, don't you start. Don't you be giving me those smiles now, Missy. Kisses. That was potentially the toughest oh, night. Oh, that was a nice one, baby. Kisses. That was potentially the toughest parenting evening thus far. Hate to bring this down on a neggy. I mean, it's not negative, it's just... Yeah, the girls. Honest. Um, but wow. That was brutal. And today is going to be sponsored by Caffeine. She's so close to walking. She's switched on. She like knows what she wants, but she can't communicate it. And also she can't walk yet, which I think is frustrating her. She's got lots of energy to burn and she just is getting really frustrated. So last night, it was like I'd, I would I literally thought I had a different child in the house. Like I didn't recognise her, which one, saddened me, two, frustrated me. And I hate being frustrated because... You know when Chelsea gets frustrated, right? When we're, when we're lying in bed. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, she just goes, ah! whips the whips the quilt off, and storms out the house. And I'm out like, the house. Oh, I don't God. storm out the house. Sorry, storm out the yeah. uh, the bedroom door. And to be fair, then once I'm out the door and I open her door, I'm calm. I'm never frustrated with her, like directly, but basically last night she didn't know even what she wanted. So like. Obviously, made sure she wasn't too hot, too cold. I fed her. Um, she didn't want to be in her cot. She didn't want to be in with us. She didn't even want to kind of be down on the floor. She just wanted me to like stand up and hold her. But I can't do that for 12 hours. She wasn't sleeping. She didn't want to sleep. And then as soon as I put her down anywhere, and particularly in her she cot, wrong, she was screaming. And I mean like that throat screaming where I thought she was going to be sick. And it was nonstop. For like a good, there was two lots of like hour, hour and a half, which is a lot when you're exhausted. Um, so it was a really tough night because I couldn't console her, I couldn't fix it, I didn't have the answer, and I didn't really know what the best thing to do. Oh, nice kissy, baby. <sighs> so, yeah, what a lovely Monday motivational vid for you. Yeah. Also got five percent battery on the camera, which is just sums up my oh, night because that's how much energy i have left ian's a bit more sprightly this morning because he's been to the gym so he's like he's he's had those endorphins no i just running. handle mornings better than chelsea yeah to be fair you're more of a morning chelsea person than cannot me. handle any form of morning although i feel like i handle well. the night better than you you handle the night better than me um i know you? i get huffy but like i can get up early Oh yeah, you're an but early Charles, bird. You're Charles, an early one. Charles can't, but it is what it is, and it's tough. It's, and it's just, difficult. It's well, tough. everybody who's watching this now that has children will have all gone through the yeah, same thing. So, course. if anybody has any advice, um, we want it. Just literally, we want it. Yeah, I don't. There's not necessarily an answer. We're not. I don't no. feel like we're doing anything wrong. It's nothing like that. She's okay. I'm she's confident fine. with that. She's absolutely fine. She's just mind your head, baby. Because when we do, when we do go in, <laughs> go, go, um, excuse me, you're the one who got yourself down. She's also learning the word no, and that's <laughs> hilarious. I closed the um, when you're at the gym. I closed the stair gate this morning, and again, so she like now throws herself to the floor, face plants the floor, like. You're so dramatic, aren't so you? So dramatic. Yeah, you because are. I won't let her climb up the stairs. And you're not going to be an actress, I don't. And really again, know that. I know this is so normal. Um, and to be fair, when she sass pots throughout the day and throws these tantrums, I actually find it quite funny. Like, I'm literally like, you are such a drama queen. Fine, don't mind. But in the night, I don't have as much of a sense of humour. <laughs> right, I literally dragged my ass to work today um it's so hard when you're self-employed and work from home because all i wanted to do was snuggle under the duvet um but i've got so much to do today 
Um, so I got up, washed, did my hair, did my face. Um, Gigi had like a 40 minute nap. That was it. Ian, bless him, has taken her out. Actually, they're just coming back now. He's taken her out for a walk um, just to get her out of the house because I had some filming to do for quite a big like brand deal, um, which obviously needed silence in the background. So, you guys went for a little walk, didn't you? How was it? Fine, didn't make one word. As soon as I she stopped. She likes going for a walk. As soon as I stopped. Here. Yeah. She started to squeal. Do you not like living in this house? Do you not like this house? Because I ain't moving. I am. <laughs> Ian wants to move anyway, apparently. It's a juggling day for sure, but I've got my filming done. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. You never know until you send it off to the brand and they say that they're happy with it, but I've done my bit. I've still got more like shots to get, but I need to get them throughout the week. But today's job is done. So now I can focus on just being mum a little bit. I've got lots of fit peach work to do, but I can do that. I was gonna say when she's asleep tonight, let's hope. Trying to form the words. <laughs> it's near far. Yeah, that's it. Near far, wherever you are. <laughs> du, 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 du. Right, are right, we doing Titanic or upside down? What am I doing? I think you've got to do that. Chris, cross your arms over. Excuse me. And just flip it over. Can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you weigh? Not oh very my much. God, how much do you weigh? <laughs> Come on. Good. Right, I'm gonna stay strong. My core is strong. You need to go on a diet. <laughs> One, two, three. Jump a little bit to give a bit of momentum. Maybe. Because you, you, I think we've only we just got to that. I think we have to go the whole way around. No, I know. Okay. I'm aware. Is it better on my arms like this? Probably. Oh. Okay. It's kind of the. the I'm a gymnast. It's kind of the momentum. Though. Let's go one, two, three, and then go, and I'll do a little. <laughs> as well. Right. One, un, deux, trois. <laughs> oh. Can you put your arms in place Sorry. and then count? Why? Because you went one, two, three, pow! And did a twire actually. You know, right. I don't know what my arms did then. Maybe I'll stick my arms like this. Right, okay. Hold me. That's it. Is it like that? I don't know. How did you do it last time? <laughs> <laughs> Ready? I'm spy dry. Huh? Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Pull yourself up, come on, I'll Pull yourself together. <laughs> Such a gymnast. Like, I don't know if I can get you off. <laughs> oh, we've got to do this. Right. I don't know. I don't know how to improve. Be lighter. Right. So I think I'll try as well, but you've got to just. I feel keep like I've going. got to kind of move my arms with it. Yeah. They're all in place, and when I get and here, stuck. I have to move my arms, or otherwise I'm like turning. So I'm going that way, aren't I? So I need to keep going with me. Oh, let's just try. Right. One, <sighs> two. Three. Yes! Oh. And again, come on. We're in the zone. No. One more. Come on, I'm, I'm feeding it now. That took a lot out of me. Don't tickle me. 
<laughs> Come on, that was good. One mark seems to be perfect. That's right. one. Right. One. You can tell I'm not doing anything. One, two, three. What was that? He sounded like the minion guy. Hi, Boo. What? Hi, Boo. Done. Good work. Top work. Oh, dear. That was funny. I was absolutely crying. I was. So, obviously, that's a trend on Instagram that we've wanted to do for a while, but you, you guys got the, the behind the scenes crap. Because <laughs> there was a lot of behind the scenes. <laughs> Me just going. <laughs> I love a crumpet. I won't lie to you again. Just talking so well. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> that was close. That divorce was close. Christ, a little better. <clears throat> no, I can't be asked. Right, we're going to love you and leave you and sign off this vlog, which like I said earlier, was meant to be the weekend vlog and it's turned into... Well, it's Tuesday now, so... And we'll spend a few days or last, you know? We've um, <clears throat> just felt sorry for ourselves. <coughs> it's been a bit of a roller coaster, hasn't it, this vlog? So you haven't really... Up and down, up and down. It's in the full potential of Chelsea, not really me, but Chelsea. A full potential? I think what they just witnessed was my full potential. <laughs> Huge shout out and all the love uh, to our sponsors of this vlog, the incredible Cover My Bubble. You know we absolutely love them. We use them ourselves for our own life insurance policy. We also do get the critical illness and we have child protection cover as well for our little Gigi, just so it's peace of mind. Emma always looks after us. I don't have to go through Royal London, which is who our actual policy is with. Um, I go through Cover My Bubble, I go through Emma and I'm like, Emma, she is the knowledge queen and knowledge is power. So she is my power basically. <laughs> If you haven't got life insurance for your bubble, go and check them out. Their social handle is literally at Cover My Bubble across everything, or you can check out their website www.covermybubble.co.uk. <coughs> Marmite. No, no, no. Let me get my yeast extract. <laughs> what it is? Yeast extract. Shut up. Are you a Marmite lover or hate no, I hate really it? Sorry. Yeah. So you're in between. I no. didn't know people like you existed anymore. On your head, Sam. Yeah. On your head. On your head. On your head. Oh, the butter's melted through to the plate. Delicious. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you on the next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Love you. Bye bye.